he'd probably back up, go do something else, maybe harass another point. Go back and heal at a triage center. I'm now worried about tier 4, so I'm going to start building mines. L placing mines all around my base, very defensively, which is a which is an uncomfortable situation to be in as an American player. If you have half map control at this point in the game, you're in a pretty terrible spot. My sniper actually on the right hand side. Don't know what it's doing. I have two snipers right now, seeing as he got that two on his on his grenadiers. I Meaning he has he has invested a lot of money in his infantry. I am going to be a bit more aggressive with my snipers. Reason for this is I have two, so if he counter snipes one, I should hopefully be able to counter snipe him with my other one. Of course, my one sniper extremely out of position. And once again, trying to bait him. However, it is the same scenario, so it's not going to work out too well. I'm going to lose three guys on that squad. And so I threw away manpower for absolutely nothing. I'm kind of flagging right now. Not really sure what I need to do. Actually, I know what I need to do here. Of course, the counter sniped me right there. Which makes me really sad. See, the problem with the, the new sniper changes that reduce the sniper dancing er, and increase the likelihood and the consistency of counter sniping is back when snipers were wonky and and couldn't couldn't hit snipers very much because they would dance and cover and stuff you could shoot you could take your very first shot with a sniper and it would be almost impossible to counter snipe because the sniper would recloak so quickly and the I'm sorry the sniper would recloak so quickly and the opposing sniper would dance so annoyingly and so frequently that it would be <laughs> hit a mine on the left hand side anyways it would be extremely difficult to counter snipe on that first shot meaning you could dance around with your opponent take one shot relocate wait a little bit for the camouflage timer to reset to take another shot and it would be almost impossible for your opponent to counter snipe unless you get greedy right now if your opponent is on the ball and attack moves right after you you take that shot he can if he's facing the right direction he can almost he has an almost he has a very good chance let's say that of counter sniping you and the reason attack move is such a good idea against or when you're trying to counter snipe is snipers have a an extremely high priority against other snipers if you attack move and there's a sniper in your sniper's range your sniper is going to shoot that sniper so instead of having to select your sniper and then worry about clicking attack right on your opponent sniper you just select your sniper attack move somewhere and it will shoot at the first thing in its range with the highest priority which if you if you position your sniper correctly it should be your opponent's sniper of course, I'm trying it the old-fashioned way, which is to click on the enemy sniper. Of course, I misclick and accidentally retreat my my sniper instead of the two-man Wilson's Rifleman squad, which is now a one-man squad that I wanted to retreat. I am going to try to kill his. Panther. He knows he's in a great spot right now, which is the reason why he sent that Panther out so aggressively. However, I do have a an AT gun. I have stickies on my rifles. I'm charging with engineers for no good reason. And I have immobilized him, so I'm just going to try to hang out here and throw a few more sticky bombs. The cooldown on sticky bombs is pretty quick. He does have a Panzer IV right now. And 
the munitions cost relative to my munitions right now, which I have 400 munitions, so 35 munitions at this point in the game, and I don't really have much chance of doing anything. Isn't really too big a deal. My sniper is doing something incredibly stupid, and we'll run back to phase. And just like a lot of my units today, they were doing something very, very stupid because I did not play this as well as I potentially could have. See me throwing a sticky bomb right there. Of course, it is a complete waste of munitions because he's just going to back up and heal it. Always keep that in mind. If you cannot kill a tank or make use of the damaged engine that a sticky bomb provides, don't use a sticky bomb because you're just throwing away 35 munitions just like as a Wehrmacht player if your opponent has an M8 and you can't kill the M8 do not waste a Faust on the M8 of course there are exceptions to this rule such as if you have a pack almost on the field and you want to scare your opponent's M8 away in order to keep it from laying a mine at your creek barracks and completely obliterating your pack before it has a chance to do anything. In that case, yeah, it's probably worth the 35 munitions to do a bit of damage and force your opponent to retreat and heal by you a bit of time. Another time that would make a lot of sense is if you catch your opponent before he has upgraded to skirts. Most players get impatient with their M8s and will upgrade the skirts and then send the M8 out using it in combat before the skirts have actually finished. If you can manage to get a Faust off in this time, it'll do far more damage. It'll take it down to, I think, a quarter health, although I'm not completely positive. In that case, it's pretty, pretty cost effective. Right now, I am just walking around. I actually killed three guys with that one mine. I planted it on the right hand side, which is a nice bit of luck right there. I am trying to take on a Panzer I mean, IV with skirts from the front with my Sherman, of course. I actually pop armor piercing rounds on that AT gun, and the first shot bounces which made me very sad and then I couldn't get in range without risking my my AT gun so I didn't even bother. At this point VP is ticking down pretty hard. I have 0% of the map and I am just going to... I think I'm actually going to wait it out. He firestorms my base. I retreat the wrong squad but I am going to move away from the center of the firestorm with my AT gun and actually manage to completely dodge it with my AT gun, only taking a bit of damage and it didn't do too much build or damage to my buildings, it did a significant amount, but I mean, oh, hold on. yeah, so this game is over, I shouldn't even need a King Tiger, I don't think he used, that Firestorm was the first ability, the first terror doctrine ability he actually used. I think he had durable MG and Katzenmeyer's Volks. I think they were Katzenmeyer's because they could um they could Faust and a very very awesome exchange right there. My sniper reveals his sniper, my sniper kills his sniper and then his Panzer IV snipes my sniper and yeah, this game pretty much over. I needed to conserve my manpower better. I needed to not lose squads. I needed to use my two M8s together instead of running one in, having it get completely destroyed, and then chilling with my other one. If I had done that, I think I would have been in a far better situation considering my minesweepers dissuaded them fairly heavily from planting any more mines. I mean, you did plant some, but they were in very out of the way areas not in any areas that would be particularly damaging to myself and yeah I'm gonna shoot another cloud barrage and maybe kill something yeah, kill something yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill MG, or at least probably MG of course 
I do. I think I knocked down those hedges. Yeah, I did knock down those hedges, meaning his infantry can walk right into my base if he so desires. And dum -dum -dum -dum. I did end up eventually getting the level two supply art upgrade. It's a good idea to get late game if you have a lot of fuel and nothing to do with it. There's not much Americans can spend fuel on super late game. They can of course build Shermans, but against tier four Shermans aren't the best thing. They can get rifle upgrades, but by 20 minutes into the game, you probably have all the rifle upgrades anyways, and if not, you should, simply for the fact that they give you excellent vet bonuses. That's another reason to get the second supply art upgrade, because you get your rifle being vet at an increased rate, and vet is the only way to stand up to late game Axis infantry. So that's going to be GG right there. This is actually the second game in a row I've casted where I've lost. So I don't know what's going on with that, but hopefully I will be playing Nystrom very soon. I'll also be playing Joe. Maybe I'll be able to come out of those with a 2-0 and post some more wins for you guys. So that's it, and I will see you guys next time.